On today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're going to be using the fantastic XP Vertex Map. Now, this object enables you to create an animated vertex map on any object in Cinema 4D. So this could be a polygon object, but also scene primitives. You can also generate vertex maps on generators as well. So MoGraph clones, for example. So we're going to be emitting particles from the fastest moving part of a mesh, which can get some really cool results. So let's get cracking. We'll jump into Cinema 4D and start the clock. In our scene, we have this capsule primitive and it's animating because we have a vibrate tag on it, which is giving it some position and rotation animation. So our emitter, let's just switch it on, is set to object mode and we're emitting at a rate from the um, capsule and the particles have no speed and they're dying off. And if we go to the emission tab, you can see they're dying off because they've only got a lifespan of, uh, lifespan of 30 frames. But what if we were able to emit these particles from this capsule only when the capsule was moving at its fastest? How might we do that? Well, we will just switch off the emitter for now. We're going to use Insidium, X Particles, Utilities, the brilliant XP Vertex Map. Let's bring this in. Now this enables us to create animated vertex maps on any scene objects, including primitives. So all we've got to do, look, is put this capsule in the objects list. And now we have its own vertex map, even though it's not a polygon object. And if we go to the vertex map, we can now decide how we're gonna animate this weight. So by default, we have our capsule here with a polygon layer. Well, we're not going to use polygons to decide uh, uh, where the vertex weight is painted. So we'll delete that one and we're going to bring in a new layer and we want to add a vertex speed layer. So now if we go to our layer uh, tab, the layer mode is set to vertex speed. Let's go to the options. And if we hit play, you're going to see that the faster the capsule moves, it's changing that vertex weight. What it's saying is um, with uh, zero world speed, the vertices won't have any weight and they'll have full weight when they're traveling 300 centimeters per second and above. So actually our um, capsule is moving so quickly, we need to increase that. So let's ramp it way up to a thousand. And now you're seeing a much more obvious variation in that vertex weight. Let's increase the min speed. So we're getting more red when it's static. We're not really getting any yellow vertex weight. And then the quicker it goes, it starts to turn yellow. Right. So that's looking pretty cool. So we can use this to dictate when our emitter spits out particles. So let's go to our emitter, we'll activate it. And in the object tab, we have it set to capsule, which is what we want. But look, we can put this vertex map into the selection. And now it's only going to emit from those points that have a certain amount of vertex weight. And we can use this threshold vertex map to kind of clamp that down. So if we increase this, only the fast moving vertices are going to emit those particles. Yes, and we can see that happening much more obviously now. It's only emitting when it's moving really fast. Let's just reduce that down. It's a little bit too uh, severe. Brilliant. Right. So now we have got that. Let's add a bit of motion. So we'll go to our emission tab. Let's go to motion inheritance. We'll activate it. And let's put this on about, I don't know, 60%. So now we're getting a bit of motion inheritance in our animation. It looks a bit off at the moment, but we're going to fix that. Now we're going to go and add a turbulence modifier. Let's go modifier motion turbulence. Let's go to the object tab. We're going to pick a, let's pick an FBM noise type. It's going to give us a really nice um, pattern. We're going to increase the scale, put the strength up to maybe 24. Now hit play, and yeah, look, we're already getting quite a cool, wispy look to this. So let's add one more layer of detail here. I mean, that's looking really nice and smoky, isn't it? That's looking good. Let's add some color and texture to this. So what we're going to do is, in our material manager, we've got a Cinema 4D material here, and inside the color channel, we've just got this noise texture, which is a Luca noise with a quite a big scale, 600%. So let's put that on our capsule and then 
we'll shut that down. Let's go back to the emitter. And in the object tab, instead of emitting from the polygon area, let's emit from texture. That then gives us this texture tab. Let's click on this. And it says, which texture tag do you want to emit from? So let's drag in that tag that we've just created. And now we can say, look, we have an emit channel, which is based on the color channel of that material. So only the lighter colors are going to be emitting particles. Where it's dark, it's not going to emit particles. And we're also getting the color of our particles from the color channel of that material as well. And now we're getting this really nice, smoky, animated look. It's based on the texture, but we're getting that really nice emission based on how quickly this object is moving through world space.